Hi guys, a couple of current measurement devices to play around with. Uh, I've got a Pacer Ampac uh, clamp on current meter and an old, or not an old, but it's a Tektronix uh, current probe amplifier. This one's blown, it was given to me by uh, my work to play around with. And I got this one used recently. Let's try to get this thing going. I think it needs batteries, so I'll uh, start by taking the uh, case off. Ah, looks almost like a uh, hobby project type construction. I guess that's uh, how they built things back in the day. Yeah, it needs four AA batteries. Let's uh, let's just throw some batteries in there and see how this see if this thing does anything. Okay, these are the worst battery holders I've ever had the misery of using. You literally have to pry the battery into them with a, something like this. You just they're so tight you cannot push it in any other way. So these are going to have to come out. But let's see if uh, this does anything now. Lights aren't coming on. Let's see if maybe these battery holders probably aren't even making good contact. They're probably corroded. And yes, poor connection. Let's just wiggle the batteries. Okay, good contact now. And now let's try powering up. Now we've got the light. Okay, got some current flowing with the heater now. Let's just, uh, meter is disconnected. Let's just zero the uh, scale. It's exactly zero. Okay, let's connect this up and see what it does. And it's reading about just under nine amps. So it's a bit low. Let's give this a tap. Changes a bit, may need to be lubricated. Probably has to be calibrated. But it's not bad, seems to work decently. The, um, probably do with a new front panel, it's been cracked. The whole thing is constructed almost like in a project box, an old Bakelite uh, project box. So if I can find something of similar size, I can just move everything over. Actually, it seems that I was just using the meter wrong here. Uh, it looks like I was zeroing it to the wrong position. It used to be zero to the off position. Then you turn it on. And then you use the electrical zero control to zero it fully. I have to tap it a bit to get it to actually stabilize properly. So now it's properly zeroed. And if we clamp it back on, we're at about 9.9 .9 amps. Tap it a bit. That's much closer. It is at about 10.3, 10.4 amps reading. And in the specs, the, um, is the accuracy specified at? Uh, 3% full scale. I'm just zeroing it again here. And we'll give it another try. Oh, that's much closer now. That's 10.2 amps. That's uh, pretty much within 3% of what the uh, flip meter here is reading, so I'd say that's still pretty much within calibration. Little um, screw headed nuts on this one, not just screws. Oh, that's fine. I can't where'd that go now? There it is. Yeah, it's little nut things. Okay, let's just get this apart. Nothing out of the ordinary here. The big coil of wire around the uh, movable core pieces. And I'm wondering how they're doing the DC current on this one. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know. They usually do DC current by with a Hall effect, Hall sensor. I don't know if those uh, existed when this meter was made, so I wonder if I can see what's in there. 
I don't think I want to take this apart any further to try to figure out what it actually uses, so unfortunately that may have to remain a mystery. But it looks, there's this component here which looks almost like a uh, thermistor. Maybe they're doing some sort of temperature compensation for the temperature of the core. And on this side there's just a couple of resistors. There's four wires running to the, uh, running to this unit. Anyway, let's, um, I guess I'll eventually change out these stupid battery holders to some better ones and probably add a DC power jack so you can run it continuously. Um, and well, let's take a look at this um, current probe amplifier now. For anyone who's interested, here's the uh, original operating instructions. I'll just go over these quickly and you can pause if you want to read them. Sure. And the back side of the brochure as well. And on to this one then.